Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. Welcome to this one another practical based video. This is on user interface. I'm making this video because of a request from my Udemy student that he wants to update the browser tabs description. So what do you see in the picture? Here I have displayed two tags, right? One on the Pega Dev Studio and the other on the case ID. So the requirement is like, I want to add more details to the case ID, not only the case ID, maybe I have to add the customer name, maybe I have to add different attributes to the browser tab. So in this video, we are going to see about that. Before jumping into the video, I just want to make a small announcement that my course is already live for two successful months. I received a lot of positive feedbacks both from the Budimi platform as well as my own self-hosting platform. I'm continuously adding videos so this will be one of the video that gets added to the course as well. There are some discount programs are running especially if you are a student or if you want to enroll it in a group you can reach me you can just email to peganowledgesharing at gmail.com and there you can receive the discounts. I hope you will enjoy the course. Okay now let's get back to the tutorial and see how we can achieve this. Okay, here I have just logged in into the Disney Studio and if you see the tab of this Disney Studio, it has a label. It has like Pega Dev Studio, right? So this is the tab label. Now if I go to a different web page, I already opened this Argo workflow web page. A small tip, I'm preparing some advanced videos on this Argo Kubernetes orchestration, but that will be published in a later part. So coming back here, if you look at this website, you have here Argo workflow. Let's look at the description. Just hover over here. There you will find the description that it is of the workflow engine for Kubernetes, right? So somewhere the browser title is set. We also know that all these web pages are built using HTML. So definitely that should be some HTML tags that is responsible to display this browser title, right? Now let me give you one more example. If you go to Pega Dev Studio and then just launch the case manager portal, you see the title, it is case manager portal and then it automatically changed to the dashboard, right? The label changed to dashboard. Let's say if you go to Pulse, again it goes to case manager portal and again dynamically it changed to Pulse. So some way Pega is maintaining that Pega automatically changes the browser label or you can say the window title to the right landing pages. I will come to Pega a little later. Before that, we will go back to the external web page. And here, what I want you to do is just go to right click and then check the view page source. If you check the view page source, you will get the entire HTML content. And there you are going to find there is a title tag. So title tag, the main thing is it is under the head tag. So there is a head tag. Under the head tag, you have some meta descriptions over here. A lot of meta tags are there. And under this meta tag, you also have a title. Argo workflows hyphen the workflow engine for Kubernetes. So this is the exact title that is getting displayed here. So from here you understood that there is somewhere Pega sets the title, the head title of the web page, right? Okay, now let's see where Pega sets it, how Pega sets it, how we can customize those. Okay, first thing what you can understand here is if you navigate to different places, if I go to spaces, it changed to spaces. If I go to reports or if I go to my teams, it automatically changes here. And we already know that on all these landing pages, we have harness. So the main understanding here is it somehow uses the harness name to display into the browser title, right? Let's find it out. First, let's go to pulse and then use the live UI. Let's open the harness. I'm going to just use the live UI to go to the right harness here. Still, I'm not into the harness. Let's go PY pulse. Let's open the harness. So this is my harness and the main idea is the description. Whatever description you set in the harness will be displayed into the window title. Let me do a private edit. And now let's say Pegapulse. I'm just going to name it as Pegapulse. If I set the description like this, and then if you go back to some other tab and then come back here, switch it off and then go to spaces tab. Spaces is that, go to pulse tab. You should see Pega Pulse, right? The description is changed. So by this way, if you want to change or if you want to customize the window title for any of these landing pages, all you have to do is just update the harness description. That is very well good enough. Okay, so that solves one of the requirement. If you have such a requirement, you don't have to worry about anything. Update the harness description. Now let me clear you one more doubt. Let's say if I close this portal and then relaunch it, at the first, it always loads the label Pega case manager portal and only then it changes to the dashboard, right? So somewhere 
initially we are setting to pega case manager portal and then reverting it back let's see where we do that for here let's look at the entire portal harness if i go here and then try to find the topmost harness just navigate and find the py case manager 7 harness this is the harness i used as a portal harness let me open the harness here so this is the right harness right now just go to the advanced tab and if you check the description you find that pega case manager portal now if you also go here and then expand this you will find that the title is set to pega case manager portal whatever label you set that gets appended there let me search for title you see here pega case manager portal let me also search for it because we will initialize this here you see title on portal launch is pega case manager portal let me do one more time let me just change this one and then change the description if i say only the case manager portal and then do an ok and then do a save now if you go to the html source now if you just do a refresh and then come to the html source you will not find pega case manager portal you see here there is no pega case manager portal it will be changed to the case manager portal so title on portal launches case manager portal so pega somehow uses the harness description to set it as a portal title or window title however you want to call so harness description is the main thing okay now let me give you one more different scenario i'll just switch it off this create a new case a new climbs records case you see here now the climbs records case is c15014 right now let me create one more thing and here see 15015 so dynamically this case id is changing this is not like you update in harness description like a hard coded one it's not updating here right it is dynamically changing our case id now let's say i just want to display only the case id i don't want to display the case type like climbs records ideally you will not do that but i'm just saying if you want to customize this if you want to add more properties or if you want to remove clients records just display only the case id you can very well do it so how to do it that's what i'm going to share you now all this dynamically updating pega has it under its engine code under some javascripts but for us pega also gives some extension points where we can update the window title so there are two places where you can do first let me go the hard way let me show you some kind of jsp tags which you can use to add some titles the first rule is on the py meta tags just open the rule py meta tags this is a html fragment rule and this rule is already kind of deprecated you cannot create a new html fragment rule from the records explorer but we are going to change here but i will also show you one more place which is more the best practice to do the change for your window title okay now we have this we have to update here so whenever you do a change here pega also includes this html fragment element if you go to py case manager portal and search for py meta tags pega includes this py meta tags into the html fragment so that will override whatever value set here it means if you want to override the title all you have to do is go to py meta tags add your right title and whatever title you set here it's going to override the pega's default behavior of setting the title using the harness description okay let me show you how to quickly customize this this is in the available state so i'm just going to put it into my application rule set just do a create and open for now i'm just going to update the title okay without any conditions i'm just going to say the title and let me just put my name here this is just for a demo purpose and then i'm going to close the title here okay now do a save let me relaunch this case portal let's see what we get you see here the description the window title is prem kumar because set i overridden the window title how pega updates by overriding it into the py meta tags now this is not the right way you have to use some kind of main conditions for sure because here we set every time the title will get overridden in the meta tags if you go to spaces you will find the same thing if you create a new case you will find the same thing because we totally overridden so you should not do that ideally what i want to achieve is i just want to display only the py id right so let me show you i just want to do the impact only for the newly created case if i click on my work i should display only my work i should not display a case id or a different one so my changes is more specific to only the cases so we have to definitely add some tags right some when conditions we have to add 
so we can use the pega jsp tags i will provide a links in the description how you can use different types of pega jsp tags just going to use the pega bin jsp tag and then the reference jsp tag so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new event rule i'm going to say this event rule start and event rule end okay now let's create a new event rule so what this event rule will does let's check it out so here i'm creating a new event rule so what i'm going to do is i need to uniquely identify and when i am into a different landing pages right so if i go to a new case page always i will have a case id right so if i have the case id i want to display or i want to customize and show only the case id otherwise i can just use the pegas out of the box behavior so this is my requirement if i go here and then check the clipboard my case id it is 15017 so definitely the py id holds the case id right so that is going to uniquely identify me so what i meant here is i'm going to create a when rule is py id exists so this is going to be my when rule and i'm going to create it under base class and then do a create and open so what i'm going to do i'm just going to check i'm going to use the advanced one and then i'll say py id does not equal to null it means py id exists you can use the different expressions also you want i'm just going to keep it simple so this when rule will always becomes true when you are into a case now let's go to the py meta tags and i just need to use this when rule right so you see here how to use a when rule using a jsp tag is you have to always use test equal to the when rule so i have to use here test equal to the when rule it's going to be is py id exist okay so whenever this when rule evaluates to true then i will set the title as prem kumar we will update it dynamically but for now let's keep it like this do a save and then relaunch your portal now you should see the prem kumar only when you are into the case i am currently into the case so definitely i see it but if i go to dashboard i don't see it i'd see only dashboard right so if i create a new case i always see the hard coded title prem kumar now what we have to do is we have to just change this title for sure we have to change this title and we have to give the right title so how to use it again we can use the jsb directives so what you can do is you can say p colon or it's like a pega reference and then you can say the name equal to i'm going to use the py id here then just close it so i see a small error here right because the tags were not closed so you have to just close this pega reference tags okay now let's check it out so pega also do validate their jsp tags instead of name you have to give it as n do a save now let's test it so this prem kumar should change to the case id right if i launch it again let's check it out it's case manager portal only the case id before it was climbs request case id now it is only case id so this is how you are going to do if you are want to change the window title make sure you use the right when conditions and change it correctly because it can apply to all your application in different places it will apply for every time whenever you open a window it can apply so use the right when conditions now i said this is not the best way i would say because pega also have a declare expression a simple declare expression to do that what i'm going to do i'm just going to discard this entire rule and then i'm going to open a declare expression py window title and this declare expression is under the other head base class so all you have to do is for now you see window title is always empty because by default pega doesn't use this declare expression so if you want to use this declare expression just do a save as into your rule set and then you can do the change now let's say for now i'm again i'm going to start with the same basic i'm just going to hard code it i'm going to say declare title just i want to see it in the front end and do a save now this declare expression will fire if i close and launch it again i should see declare title here let's check it out you see here it is declare title if i go to any tabs you will find it as declare title if i go to documents i will find it as declare title if i go to any places i find it as declare title because you need to use some when conditions so definitely i'm going to use when condition here i can also use the same when rule i'm going to use the same when rule when evaluates to true so i'm going to say is yes, py id exists if this is true i'm going to say climbs case and then i'm going to append py id in real time maybe you may need to append different attributes 
but for now i'm just going to keep it simple i'm just going to say whenever pyid exists i'm going to say climbs case and then pyid otherwise i'm going to make it empty so that pega will use the out of the box behavior if you always make it empty you don't want to worry because pega always checks for this one if it doesn't exist then it goes to the out of the box behavior now if you do a save you can also check in okay now let's check it i close it if i launch it again now i should see the right title you can see here currently it is documents okay there is some error i see but okay now it is working all perfect i think it is using the last launch bottle there is some error but leave it out so if you go to dashboard you see everything perfect right now if i create a new case i should see climbs case i should have used space and then pyid maybe you can use a space here this would be perfect if i close this and launch it again let's check it out i don't see the change because the declare expression already fired so if i need to go here and then if i come back here and then create maybe create a new case now the changes will reflect so you don't have to worry about this one you just do a refresh and then you will find the changes so this is perfect right this is how we are implemented now one more scenario i want to explain because here we use pyid it not only that pega uses pyid only for a uh, cases but it also uses for different places maybe if you use some wizard or a different places you will also have this so what i meant here is if i go to spaces and then if i create a new space so here space also it works like a case id but at this moment case id is not created because you can also find it from the clipboard it is still into the new window so we will not have some py work page with py id but let's say if you create a new one here and then do a done a new case will be created you see space 2 right but what it does is it says climbs space and then it gives the py id because we applied this universally so the entire application we use we always check if there is py id if yes we always append this again this may not be good practice if you want to customize the window title only for your climbs cases then in that case you can say if it is climbs case like you can use the px obj class to determine if it is climbs case in such cases only you can update this you can take it as your own exercise so this is how you are going to update the windows title and going forward with the cosmos react and every time you can always open the cases into different different tabs so for those scenarios definitely this is going to be helpful so if you have a requirement to update your window title i would ask you to use this declare expression first maybe i am into 8.7 version and if you don't find the declare expression to customize then very well you can go ahead and update the py meta tags i hope you understood some advanced topics through this video if you need more such videos you can always join my learning program and you can suggest me some topic especially the real time scenarios topics i'll try to make a video on it soon and if you haven't enrolled to pega master class i would ask you to enroll it see you in the next video